welcome to anjim maths channel let us discuss one more problem from the probability three unbiased coins are tossed together find the probability of getting at least two heads at most two heads no heads let us go for the solution see you know when one coin is tossed you will get two possibilities that is uh, two outcomes are possible tail or head when two coins are tossed together true true sorry tail 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 head head tail head head which means four outcomes are possible in this case two that is if three coins are uh, Toss it together like this. You will have eight possibilities. Let us see what are they. So in general, if n coins are tossed together, you will get two to the power of n. This is two cubed, two square, two power one. Keep it remember. So if three unbiased. coins are tossed together total possible outcomes is equal to set of let me write as triplets t t H tail tail head T H T T H H उटकम्स टोटल नंबर आफ अउटम्स Now f is equal to h. Now you are asked to find the probability of at least two heads. At least two heads. At least two heads means at least means greater than or equal to two. Minimum at least means minimum. Minimum two or more. Two or more. Let us say how many outcomes are containing two heads or more than two heads. Let me underline one, two, three, four. So these are the four outcomes which contain two heads or more than two heads. Let us write those favorable outcomes. T H H. H T H H H T H H H. So probability of at least two heads is equal to how many favorable outcomes are there? Four out of eight. So Obviously, it is one by two. Now, let us see the second one. At most two heads. It is nothing but at most means maximum. That is less than or equal to two. 
that is uh, you may understand here two heads or one head or zero heads so you have to take all the outcomes which are having either no heads or one head or two heads so you can't consider the outcome which is having more than two heads so the only one possibility is having more than two heads is this one only remaining all are having two heads or less than two heads so our our favorable outcomes consists of all remaining seven except this one so let us write all those things t t h t h t t h h t t t h t h h h t h t t these are the seven outcomes which contains at most two heads so probability of at most two heads is equal to how many favorable outcomes are here seven out of eight let us go for the third one that is uh, no heads how many outcomes doesn't have no heads this is the only outcome which does not contains no head so which applies probability of no heads is equal to number of favorable outcomes 1 out of 8 so this is uh, how we write the probabilities of required events thank you i hope you understand